Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, we got another extreme test. As you guys can see, I've got my uh, the inner circle, man, the posse. We got Mike Bidzel here. The three amigos. The three amigos. We got Brandon Boudreau. And uh, here's, we got two superstars as well. This is a clash of the Titans right here. We've got the Turf Tiger 2 and the Xmark Laser Z X Series. Now, a lot of you guys have uh, wanted me to weigh in and do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is going to be uh, as extreme of a conditions as we got, okay? This is field grass, this is really tall stuff over here, really flush, really thick. Guarantee you there's some debris in there as well. Uh, so let's go over some stats really quick for you guys because most of you know I'm a huge X mark guy, but lately these skag mowers have been extremely impressive, okay? I'm just gonna shoot you guys straight. I know we do a lot of reviews on my channel, they all mostly seem positive. Here's why, I use those products, I already knew they were good. Now we're starting to get to the point where a lot of companies I don't use are sending us stuff, and now we're gonna get to the, the meat and potatoes of it all. But I will tell you this, the Skag Turf Tiger 2, I picked it up with 11 hours from Rich, a lot of you guys saw that, and you know what, right now we have about 26 on it. All that being said, here's what that means, I have been using this mower all day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, logging hours on it because it is a monster. So let's do some field tests, they both have sharp blades, I will show you a video of that just to confirm because I know how you guys are, everybody's a stickler, and then number two. 37 horse uh, Vanguard on the Turf Tiger 2. We got the Velocity Plus deck, Xmark Laser Z 34 Kohler with the Ultra Cut Series 6, if I'm not mistaken. So, Bedell, you're on deck. Which one are you grabbing? I'll grab the Skag. I said if you break a spindle, at least you don't break my lawnmower, right? So, hey, Pace and Skag, I love you. Um, sorry if we messed up your machine here, so. Here we go, right? All right, we're gonna go jump into the field. Let's do some side-by-side -side comparisons and let's see how it goes. All right, let me show you guys really quick. So we got a little accountability here. Brandon, if you wanna swing over to the seat. We got uh, the hour meter here. Let's see if you can get on this. Turf Tiger 2, you gotta go the other way. Yep, my bad. We got 26.5. We picked it up with 11, right? 26.5, we picked it up with 11, if you guys can see that. All right, let's go over to the X mark. So this guy has been weathered. This is my mower. Ugh. If you want to hit me the camera, just because I know everybody's a stickler. 562, if you guys can see that. It's kind of tough, but 562. The reason it says 562 is I had to replace the hour meter, which had 450 on it. So we're just at 1,000. So kind of as apples to apples as I can get, guys. But all right. I'm using the X-Mark, Mike's using the uh, Turf Tiger 2. What I want you guys to do right now, pause the video, leave me a comment down below, who do you think is going to cut the grass the sharpest and the best and leave the nicest quality of cut on the first pass? Pause the video, leave your comment down below. Dude, this is gonna make uh, just so many people uh, happy or upset. And if it's your brand, sorry. Uh, I already know which one's gonna cut better. Uh, I'll reveal that at the end, but I'm excited about seeing this. Let me show you guys also really quick. By the way, you guys make me do all this. We got fresh sharp blades, right? Brand new, fresh sharp, well not brand new. These blades, we've been using them a lot, but I just cleaned them up, took about 15 minutes to sharpen them. Brandon, can I get verification they're clean? Oh, they're clean. All right, let's do this. Let's go to the other side. Under the deck, where are we at? We got the fresh sharp blades. For the Let's X mark. So you can see yep, you can see it. There you go. Brandon, can I get a verification? They're clean. All right. I have no bias in any one of these. <laughs> so I'm trying to have some fun with you guys and uh, just shoot it as straight as I can. All right. Bedell, you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're on deck. All right. Here we go. Rock and roll. Cool. Uh, hey, Pan the Sawyer. Who's that guy? We got that dab guy. <laughs> <laughs> we got the posse. You good? Yeah. I'm All right, following don't, you. Don't break a spindle.
Right now we got the mower set at four inches. We're gonna cut. Skag. This is mine. What else we got? Let's go this way. All right, so here we go. Here's the skag. Here's the X mark. And you know what? I knew this was gonna happen because I use this mower for three days straight and I'm telling you what, it is an absolute monster. I am an x -Mar guy, for now. This is kind of weird, I don't know what to say. Most of you guys that are Skag folks, you knew, and shout out to Rich, he knew what the difference of tests would be. Let's go catch up with Mike, see what he thinks. Now, no, we're not doing uh, grass like this every week, obviously, but here's the deal. If it can cut this down in one pass, imagine your weekly lawns and your residentials, how fast, how quick, how efficient it's gonna be taking care of that grass. And if you have to do something like this, Makes it that much easier. What do you think? Drives real nice. Yep. Drives real nice too. You see the two different lanes? Yeah. Dude, look at this. That's the skag. That's the X mark. So what, one of the no differences I noticed is it didn't seem like this was as revved up as the X mark is, right. and when, when you started cutting just a few seconds before I did, yep. and I, I, I'm used to an X mark, so I'm used to that level of RPM coming up, I was, and when I heard how high this one when it sounded lower and I was expecting it not to cut as well right. because of that, and I actually double checked to make sure that I had it throttled up all the way, yep. and, uh, but the results speak for themselves. I don't know, what do you guys think? Kind of controversial, leave them down below. You wanna go make a couple more passes? Let's do it. All right, let's see what we can get ourselves into. Hopefully we don't hit anything big. a little bit more even a little bit more even not as bad i'd still say the skag I'm takes still, it i'm still gonna say about 10 percent better is the skag super picky me yeah. this is the skag yeah uh, you know compared to the husky they're both better unless <laughs> yeah. can i say that Sorry, we gotta edit that out look <laughs> i know it went a little hard on the husqvarna lawnmower i know it's not made for this and it's defense, it's great for weekly growth. There he is, backsliding, right? Yeah. I got, I got no, it. it's, it's true. That's not what this is for. Absolutely. People aren't, I don't know how many people take standards, standard mowers into fields. These mowers, it happens though. People aren't yep. getting a huge brush hog right. or a huge PTO driven one by a tractor, yep. but they're taking one of these in. Well, I've taken a zero turn into a field like this before. Yeah. yeah. And the Skag definitely does a quicker, faster First job. Cut. First yeah. pass. First this pass is good accept, enough. This would be acceptable. Yeah, this would be acceptable this for this type of work. I will say this, uh, outside of the Husqvarna, we got the Toro Grandstand coming, uh, Ferris, Gravely, all the other uh, lawnmowers to stand on. So we'll be putting them through this gauntlet just to get the extreme conditions, right? Yeah. This is not weekly growth, I get it, but we're gonna put them all through the same test to be fair to the Husqvarna. You wanna do another pass or two? Yeah. Honestly, this is a lot of fun. This. Uh, we should be charging these people. Yeah, it's a lot more grudge mash. Yeah, it's great. Having fun. All right, you're on Skag. Yeah, do it. Let's, let's cut a couple more passes. You take that side. I'll take this side. I got you. What can we say, guys? We're just nerds after hours having fun. By the way, one thing I want to ad lib. Thank you to you guys who use affiliate links because of the extra money we make with you guys using that stuff. It allows me to take me and the guys out and go do stuff like this for tests. So if you're wondering why I'm always plugging that stuff, guys, it takes time, money, and effort to do this. Thank you for supporting the channel. Equipment Defender, uh, Sprayers Plus, everything in between. So I really do appreciate that. Shameless plug, that's how we do more videos like this. That's where the money goes. All right, rock and roll, let's do some more tests.
pretty even. What's your what's your opinion? We need to change this. This has come off like three times and I've been on the mower for 10 minutes. Don't worry, I still got my hassles with this little guy. He's got a couple things we gotta work on. But overall, uh, this cut's great. I mean, uh, it, it did an okay job. It definitely bogged down when it got really, really thick there. I yeah. could hear yeah. I could hear it straining like I've never heard the X mark strain. Gotcha. Yeah, I didn't I don't think mine really slowed down. Yeah. That EFI, that EGOV. Yeah. Kept it up. Exactly. Yeah. Red technology. Red tech. Yeah. This is the guy who knows what he's talking about. I like him. That's why he's my resource. <laughs> and a good friend, obviously. Um, so what else we got? Any final thoughts you want to do for this one? Uh, it's, it seemed to at least handle this. Right. It, it seemed to like just single pass stuff. I think you'd have to, what we discovered is it didn't like cutting through the fresh cut clippings on top of tall grass. That's fair. So if you were to use this in a crazy extreme condition like this, you'd have to put some thought into it. Right. Uh, otherwise you're gonna end up maybe having to make some extra passes. I don't know that you'd you know, have to with the X mark. I was, you know what, that's a great point. I would say this stripes, I feel much better. Sure. But I will say this, nothing is gonna take the volume, the quantity of grass through that X mark deck I feel that's currently out there. Yeah. Based on these two, if, they, if we're going against these two juggernauts, that thing will just cut through anything. The the deck on that definitely looks superior. I, yeah. was, I was kind of looking at this like, this is sweet. It'd be cool if it was maybe on that frame. That's a great point yeah. with that engine. Yes. <laughs> I love exactly. that. That 37 Vanguard is legit. So, all right. The, we've uh, weighed in as much as we can. <clears throat> I'm going to go 60 40 on the Skag. All right. I'm just. I'm right there with you. I'd say it's not, uh, it's kind of knockout by decision. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, or, or, you know, awarded by decision. It's definitely not, you know, just slaughtered and laid out in the grunt match of uh, right. lawnmowers here. What do you guys think? That's what I want to know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, if, it's a, if you're a Skag person, let me know. If you got other zero turns that you want me to look at and maybe put through the same gauntlet, leave those down below as well. Uh, again, I cut with this guy all week. I know my numbers. I know my day. I was getting done early every day with this guy. And uh, you know what? It just, it's a great unit. It's a great machine. I endorse it. I think it's awesome. Will I buy one? Stay tuned. We'll figure that all out. Who knows where we could go. Yeah. Um, it's got to work some things out with Weingarts. Just kidding. But a uh, <laughs> little plug there, James. Anyway, over and out, guys. That's it from me. Um, if you guys have anything else, leave it down below. I read all the comments. You guys know that. Again, thank you for supporting the channel. That gives us the resources to do tests like this because it takes an army. These guys are working. They're slaving away too. And the last thing they want to do at 7 o'clock at night is do silly little tests like this. But we all do it for you guys. And that's sincere. Uh, over and out. You got anything yeah. else? That's it. All right, Let brother. us know what you think. Cool. Don't forget to like this video if you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. And we will definitely catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. All right, guys, here, really quick, let me give you a debrief on the mower because after this, Bedell is taking it over and he's gonna go demo it tomorrow and then maybe again in the future. Yeah. But there are a couple things on the Skag. By the way, this isn't a bashing session. This is just some quick feedback for Skag and any of you guys that might be looking at the mower, you might want to evaluate. Nothing crazy, actually, but there are a couple little nuances. Number one, the front caster's right here. This right here, it sticks up about two inches, if you guys can tell. When you're going under play sets and the swing for the seat, it can catch onto that and I can pop that right off. It's a little thing, but this should be shaved flat. Yes. Okay, number two, and Bedell already found this in the first uh, 90 seconds using the unit. This handbrake right here, uh, it looks good on paper. I don't like it at all. First off, the little black cap comes off. Then I get to pull on hard steel. It's not ergonomic uh, enough for uh, the lever action that we use while we're in the seat. That needs to be reevaluated because I have to pull this lever up and down with this brake pedal, and it has to clip right into this little groove. I know you guys have no idea what I'm talking about if you haven't used the unit, but it's a pain in the butt. It's not bad by any means. I worked with it all week. I just didn't like the feel. If they could adjust that, uh, I think that would be awesome. Another little one, the seat. These should be padded. I'm resting my forearms on that, you know, 30 hours a week on the lawnmower, hard plastic, no bueno. Let's get some uh, softer uh, pads on the armrest. Another thing that I don't like, the fuel gauge, it's down here. How are, you, how are you gonna see your fuel? That's literally, <laughs> while you were shooting video, I was looking at it and I still, I'm glad you pointed it out because I looked for 90 seconds and Can couldn't find it. it. I figured they've got this whole, whatever they this call it. This whole panel, their tiger eye. Yeah, the tiger eye. Right it, here. It, yeah, 
Put something right here for me, guys, and I would be more happy. Take, if... take your logo off and put something useful for the operator. 100%. Um, another one. I don't like this right here. The little uh, spinner things, this should just clip or clasp on somehow. It should be, I'm not opposed to the metal, but if it can come off a lot easier. I know this isn't hard to just wrench this, but eventually these can get loose. This can fall off. Another plastic piece in the, in the grass, right? Yeah, totally. There goes another nine bucks because everything on lawnmowers is super expensive for no reason, just having fun. And now I'm out another eight bucks that's just sitting in the grass. I gotta go to my dealer and find something to keep safety first. Another quick one that me and Mike were just talking about was the battery cover. Makes sense on paper again, uh, not practical in the field. And by the way, I'm coming at you guys fast because we gotta get out of here. But let me give you an example. Mike, tell them what you were just saying. Uh, Same thing. You're having a bad day, battery's dead, and now you're having a worse day because you gotta go find the socket that fits this. Take it out not lose these parts which is gonna fall in the grass yep op open it up yep hopefully get it jumped and then you got to put it all back on and on the X mark the grounds open and, the, and the, the hot lead has a little rubber cover on it that's it you can be clipped on there in three seconds instead of going through your toolbox yep. looking for a socket set I, I will say the rest of the unit is very well thought out yeah, that's um, great the the ROPS bar there's no pegs that are uh, sitting up on my X mark there that's is cool. let me show you this really quick while we're already here. This right here, no good. That gets clipped on um, swing set seats all the time. That's gonna pop it right off. I could slam my own mower. <laughs> you know, I own it. <laughs> I put my money into the game. Uh, what else we got? And lastly, there was no compartment for anything of value. I Okay, I get not having uh, my compartment just yet. I slammed that on another video. But I need to have some, why can't I have something here? Oh, the gas gauge is there. Yeah, the gas gauge is there. But give me a compartment right here. And this is pretty undersized. Like one of the things I like about the X Marks is it's hot out. I can have like a big bottle of Powerade or Gatorade, yeah. big water bottle, whatever it is. Sure. And then this is gonna fit what, a 20 ounce Coca-Cola? Maybe, which we're not drinking. No. We shouldn't be drinking. We shouldn't be drinking. What? A small bottle of vitamin water? Yeah, exactly. That, that, little things, the little things. We're not trying to complain or bash. I'm just trying to debrief really quick because I'm not going to have the mower after this evening. So uh, all that being said, I'm trying to give a quick last look at it. Um, I feel like the peg for the uh, deck assist <clears throat> could be revisited. Um, it's just, uh, it, it makes sense, but it just doesn't ergonomically fit with like my leg. I, it's a little off to the side. It's just a little nuanced, but probably nothing too crazy. These really should match probably. I, I don't know why I feel one's like, like one and one's the other. Either have them both be the peg yeah. or both be the pedal. That's fair. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys think. If you own a Turf Tiger 2, Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on anything else that I missed that could help other folks out, especially if you have hours on it. If you guys have a unit that has more than 100 or 200 hours, leave me a comment down below. Uh, I know these are newer units, so not everybody has them yet, but at least this video could be a good resource for either unit. By the way, if you pull the trigger on either mower, you will be happy. Honestly, you can't go wrong. Dealer support is everything. Start there, then pick your lawnmower. All right, guys, over and out. Now we're officially wrapped up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. We'll catch up with you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Everybody say thank you, Brandon, for recording. <laughs>